Mystery vanished without a trace. The mysterious disappearance of the Cirigliano family, last seen or heard from on Sunday. The father of that family, Tony, making a frantic call asking for help and then disappearing with his wife and two sons shortly after. Now Michigan police are confirming the family was spotted Monday morning getting gas more than five hours north of their Fremont home. News Nation obtained this footage from the last known location of the family. Sloan Glass joining us live now. Sloan? Hey, Natasha, News Nation obtained this video showing the family at the gas station in the Upper Peninsula. You see Suzette, Brandon, and Noah walking around the gas station. They seem calm as they look around for food. The owner of the gas station told me they left the station headed east, back in the same direction they came from. This new video only adds to the mystery surrounding the family's disappearance after police received this strange 911 call. Take a listen. Okay, what's going on tonight? Yes, everyone is okay, but I need the Fremont Police Department. The family went missing after a bizarre 911 call from Anthony Cerigliano just after midnight Sunday. I need some police protection immediately. Okay, for what? It is of vital national interest. It is related to September 11th, and people want to erase me from the face of the earth. I'm not crazy. Mr. Geeting knows me. I'm a Christian. I just need some help. And then the U.S. government will take it from here. Anthony and his wife, Suzette, and their two teenage children, Brandon and Noah, are all missing. Police say the boys have autism. The one spawning so far, surveillance video released by police, shows the family at a gas station in Michigan's Upper Peninsula on Monday. Neighbors called police when they saw Suzette's mother, who has dementia and needs 24-hour care, wandering around the neighborhood Monday night. They also left their pets at their home in Fremont, Michigan, north of Grand Rapids. The home's doors were locked and the family's minivan was gone. All of their cell phones off. Officers went to the home and determined there was no sign of foul play. We don't see any signs of violence. We don't see any signs of foul play right now. There's no signs of struggle inside the home. Uh, but it's just everyone we've talked to, whether they be a lifelong friend to Suzette or family members, um, they all describe this to be extremely abnormal behavior. Anthony made a phone call to his mother at 4 p.m. on Monday. And then, Tasha, if you follow that timeline, it would suggest that call was made after the family was spotted at the gas station. Neighbors say he seemed paranoid Saturday night, but that he was very protective of his family and wouldn't harm them. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.